All right, it's the all new 93.7 to beat H Town's real hip hop and RB Saturday, H Town. My name is Memphis 10. Inside the 10 spot, patiently waiting is here. And I've been patiently waiting all week for this artist, Johnny Blaze. Hi. Hey, girl, how are you? <laughs> Hello. All right, 10 minutes with Memphis 10. I like the sound of that. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, we're going to take time. it back. We're going to take it back from your beginnings and we're going to build our way up to how'd you get here today, all right? Okay. All right, real quick, tell everybody who Johnny Blaze is. Hi, I'm Johnny Blaze and I am a recording artist and I represent H Town. <laughs> All right, so how'd you become? How'd you get into the industry? Take us back to that first day when you quote unquote stepped into the entertainment industry. Um, you mean as far as Houston was or just Period. in general? Um, well, I I have a a past of you know things that I were, was doing that I don't no longer do now, um, and it led me to which was prostitution. I was doing prostitution, and somebody introduced me into the strip world, and they said it would be better for me and. You know, follow your dreams. So I did it. And um, I started out in Philly and then I ended up moving a lot from New York, Tampa and stuff and building my name. K Slay put me in a magazine. Then I did a Chris Brown video. Then I did a, you know, French Montana, Joel Santana, and it kept going. And then I did more magazines and got my name up, but I wasn't happy because that wasn't my passion. So um, a tragedy happened to me about to be three years. Um, my dude died and it made me change my life. I uh, ended up being on Love & Hip Hop due to, I believe, like six months after I started talking to a guy named Rich Dollars, and he put me on the show Love & Hip Hop. And it just branched off from there, and I promised myself I wouldn't dance anymore. I gave that up and talked to God a lot about what I need to do with my life. Uh, H-Town was mostly the big platform for me because they they made me the popular girl, you know. So um, long story short, now I'm doing music. Um, TV, acting, and all that great stuff. <laughs> all, right. all right, so check it. When you when you said, "Okay, I'm I'll do this music thing," yeah, what was it? Who was it? Who inspired you? Who was it that you Ooh. said, "Okay, I'm getting into music now"? Mm -hmm. Where is this gift coming from? Um, nobody in my family really does music, which you're gonna laugh that I even said that, but I just found out. Three weeks ago, MC Light is my cousin. Oh, wow. And it made me flip. You That's know, so that loyalty. is my new inspiration, of not just from that, but, you know, just her history. She's a legend. And then my great grandmother that passed, she always had a piano in her house, and I used to play, and she used to beat me about it until she realized I played. So I think that's where it came from. But mostly I was kind of the eyeball in the family. And um, I've been doing music since I was six years old. Six instruments. I play acoustic guitar, bass guitar, clarinet, nice. the violin, drum, keyboard. And I started singing and writing. And I just used that through everything that I went through. If I was upset, sad, I'd write. I'd make a song. So that's where my inspiration comes from. And Sade is like my big inspiration. Wow. I love her. Yeah, yeah. She's like ultimate just legend. So... That's my inspiration. All right, so what's one misconception that people will get? Because, like, you would consider yourself a newbie to the music scene, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so, yeah. so <laughs> what can people expect from the musical side of Johnny Blaze? Um, it's a story. You know, my music is, every song is a story. Right? Um, I want to be able to interact with people and, um, you know, them listen to my songs and be able to be like, you know, I can get through this. Let me go listen to this song. Or um, if they're feeling down, if they're happy, you know, be able to 10 years from now listen to my music and enjoy it. And it's just great quality music and the, the pain and the struggle and the happiness that I've been through in my life on a CD in my music. So it's pretty cool. All right. Now we're in the digital age, right? Mm -hmm. You are a monster <laughs> on social media, right? Yeah. So how has social media helped your world? Like how how do you go about every day working your social media to get to the point where you got you, where you are? Um well this is my 40th account. 40th <laughs> on Inst for zero? Yeah on, yeah, on Instagram. Um this one I kept for 3 months and it's at 500,000. It's about to be. And I'm very happy because it's nothing that I brought. I didn't buy the followers or anything. It's just people just really love my music and they're getting the hang of it. Um it's it's overwhelming. I do the Instagram. That's actually how I got the song with Fetty Wap. Mm. Through posting him and saying artist of the week appreciation and we start clicking and I flew out and did the song and same thing with Rich Homie Kwan's song, the Kevin Gates song, working with Tank, getting advice from Neo um, and his wife Crystal. Like I built relationships through Instagram, through, you know, 
social media. Right. And so it is, it's a very great outlet for new artists and even artists, period, to do that. So Instagram is very important to me. All right, so, so <laughs> I'm lurking on your page, and you got fitness singing. <laughs> like, yeah. Like what, what is this new... So I'm doing this 30 day boot camp, okay. but I think I'm gonna keep on doing it after that. Um, it helps you um, perform, you know, breathing. It helps your breathing skills. It helps you pronounce more. Um, it's basically um, you take a 16 pound ball, okay, and your trainer puts his feet on your feet, and you're doing crunches. But instead of crunching, you're singing whatever song it is either it's fast or slow and you're throwing that ball back at him while he's throwing and you're catching the parts where what time you get out of breath and stuff it's a really great exercise for artists so when you do perform and you're dancing and stuff you're not out of breath so it's really great and it's great for getting fit <laughs> speaking of your performing your on stage stuff i first saw you i actually just met you at the go dj Awards. i saw i saw your we stopped traffic y'all uh, got in a lot of trouble they gave right? us a minute and 20 seconds <laughs> talk about your performance now what does it take to put a performance together what what create what's the creativity to come from um the creativity for me um i look at lady gaga beyonce madonna um diana ross um aretha franklin temptations i look at old school stuff from classical to rock and roll you know and i try to put that in my story even though my budget might not be as high as right. theirs you try to make a story well for me i try to make a story and that's what i did and i found these dancers like two and a half weeks ago rashad and marcus and you know, Venetia and Taylor and Renee and hi, y'all dance crew. But <laughs> um, and it worked out. You know, it took uh, three months. I was working on the Go DJ Awards. And in two weeks, it took my dancers to figure it out and put the props together. And it's really just you have to have dedication and yeah. heart and, and courage because it's not going to be the same as every other artist. You have to be different. You have to. Definitely different. I, I got this saying that you got like this front street swag and like a side street hustle. You know what <laughs> I mean? All right. So as a new artist. Yeah. Talk about the Fetty Wap deal. You said he, the, the Instagram thing is how it popped off. Yeah. All right. So talk about the song. How'd y'all come up with the song? Talk, put us in there. How, how okay, we get to so this Okay, so I posted them for Artists of the Week, and I was like, hey, I don't have a lot of money. I'm going to be honest. I make money here and there. You know, I'm I'm decent, well off. You know, God has blessed me, blah, blah, blah. And I would like you to do a song with me. I sing, play six instruments. He said, you know what? If you can get up to New Jersey, I'll do a song with you. Come to find out, I um ended up doing a song with him but also we spoke about just like our backgrounds we came from like i said before with other people from nothing and music is our outlet so we we just vibed and we made that song ride or die and he tested it out just to see how people would react because it's still new it's brand new and over eight hundred thousand people on soundcloud wow. have wow it's just from different places in mine alone it's probably close to a million, and it's only been a month. We haven't even, we only did 30 cities so far that has it on radio, so it's wow. really crazy. Wow. And it's overwhelming. It's on Music Choice, and it just, it got big, and it was very overwhelming and happy and humbling, a humbling feeling. So that's the story behind me and Fetty Wap's song. So as, as because you sound like you, you're on pace to do some numbers, <laughs> right? Yeah. As a new artist, like, okay, so what cons what, what, what are you taking to the music game? That you've learned in your... Uh, what, what's different about the music than the, the reality TV, the Vixen, the... Video Vixen world, Every everything is the same. Um, a job is a job, but your passion is different from a job. When right. you have passion, sometimes you don't care about the money. And right now, my money's not quickly coming in for music, but I don't care at this point because I love it. It's something I love. I'm driven. Um, the strip world and the modeling world is... It's all different in its own way. You know, it's the same, but it's all different. But um, you go through a lot dancing and being a video vixen, a lot. Music is more for me where I'm happy and I can find my space. So it's different levels, but it's kind of the same. It's just the hustle. All right, so <laughs> yeah. it's time to put you on the spot. In this interview, you said the word, I sing. The phrase, I sing, you said it three times. Y'all go back and check me. I count it. Uh -huh. yes. Put you on the spot. I sing. All right, we got, sing. We got about 30 seconds. All right. <clears throat> Johnny Blaze, patiently waiting artist, <laughs> giving us, I want to say bars because it just sounds cool. Bars, but uh, I don't rap, though. All right. <laughs> Give us some notes. Go. Uh, are you right, T? I'm ready. Okay. Honey, honey, I can see the stars all the way from here. I can see the glow on the window pane 
And everybody's asking why I'm smiling now from ear to ear But I know, whoa, baby it's you You're the one I want, you're the one I need there you go. Johnny Blaze, patiently waiting the artist of the week. I so appreciate it. You got you had 40 accounts. Tell everybody how we can find you on social media. Um, follow me on Instagram, the only Johnny Blaze, my 40th account. We ain't getting uh, no more. <laughs> shout out to Memphis. Shout out to 93.7 The Beat. Um, and follow me on Twitter, Real Johnny Blaze. Follow me on my website, I am Johnny Blaze. Facebook, Johnny Blaze. And yeah. Tell them the song again. We're getting the song. Make sure you go and request and you go and search on SoundCloud my single, Ride or Die, featuring Fetty Wap. And I love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me. And I appreciate it. Definitely that. That <laughs> song will be on the Patiently Waiting blog. Make sure you check it out at 937thebeathouston.com. It's Memphis 10 on the all new 937 The Beat.